There is no set height from which a feet first entry is always safe. The same is true for water depths below the entry point. As a general rule, the qualified supervisor should carefully assess the risk of injury whenever a proposed activity involves feet first entry from heights greater than the person's height or when contact with the bottom is likely. BSA policies prohibit cliff jumping and diving. Comfortable water temperature for swimming is near 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Slightly warmer water is good for therapy and slightly cooler water for racing. Activity in water at 70 degrees or less should be of limited duration with participants closely monitored for negative effects of chilling. Follow facility or manufacturer's rules for use of hot tubs or spas. High water temperatures over extended periods can be hazardous. Water quality is another concern for swim area safety. Bodies of stagnant, foul water, areas with significant algae or foam and areas polluted by livestock or waterfall should be avoided. Comply with any signs posted by local health authorities. Swimming should not be allowed in swimming pools with green, murky, or cloudy water. Hazards from moving water have already been reviewed. Participants should be able to easily regain and maintain their footing in currents or waves. Areas with large waves, swiftly flowing currents, or moderate currents that flow toward open sea or into areas of danger should be avoided. Hydraulics below low-head dams are particularly dangerous since they trap people and debris. They have a reputation as drowning machines and should not be included in or near a swimming area. Inclement weather is another safety concern. Participants should be moved from the water to a position of safety whenever lightning or thunder threatens. If you can hear thunder, the lightning that caused it is close enough to be a concern. Wait at least 30 minutes after the last lightning flash or thunder before leaving shelter. Our final consideration for swim area safety involves the use of life jackets to reduce risk. Swimming in clear water over 12 feet deep, in turbid water over 8 feet deep, or in moderate currents may be allowed if all participants were properly fitted Coast Guard approved life jackets, and the supervisor determines that swimming with life jackets is safe under the circumstances. Wearing life jackets is often a prudent precaution, especially when swimming is associated with a boating activity in deep murky water.